Okay, hello everyone. Um, yeah, it's been two weeks. That, that's the first thing I should say. It's been two weeks. Yeah, uh, we had guests over, so I had to do things last week, but I'm back and I'm going to draw. Why well, I don't? I, I'm going to re try redrawing the 3D shapes, but this time we're going to add shading. So I watched a few YouTube videos. Well, well, two YouTube videos. I'll link them in the description on how to do a little bit of 3D, uh, 3D shape shading. Yeah. So, I guess we'll zoom into here a bit. Not too much. So, what should I start off with? I'll start off with. Hmm. I guess I'll start off with the sphere. Yeah. So let's this pencil. Okay. So I'll sketch out a sphere. Well, a circle. So yeah, that's that's my circle. Let me just get rid of. Okay, so there, there's my circle. So I can. Maybe I should zoom in more. Oh, that's pretty good much. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I guess the magnifying glass will stay there, but, anyways. Um, I guess what I'll do next is. Okay, the light I will say shines. I don't know. I'll say this way. Okay, my arrow is messed up, but okay. There. It's not a clear, very. It's not a very good arrow. We'll say. There, can everyone, I guess, can it? <laughs> yeah, that, that's fine, Arrow. That's fine. There. So there's my arrow. I guess what I'm going to do now is a way to get rid of. Ah, there we go. So I attempted to zoom out. Uh, dang it, not high. Okay. So now I'm going to try to do the shade, well, yeah, shade this. Mm, this does not. Okay, I'll continue shading this. I think the light goes here, so in there and yeah, so that's the casted shadow. The it's not really casted, it's I guess normal shadow where the where if there was no light that's where the shadow would be, and then there's light so the shadow now just goes here, and then there's a casted shadow, which I'll do next. Which way is this pointing? Is this coming towards me or away from me? I think it looks like it's away from me, so... How much of that shadow will you see? Not much, actually. So, shadow here. And, yeah, so that... That's my first iteration of a sphere. Well, I guess we'll try again. We'll see what. So what I can kind of see from this is um, the circle isn't as clearly defined as I thought I would make it. So I'll try to make the sphere a little bit more defined. So no, that sketch first. So. Yeah, 
I do not know how to do light fences. Yeah, let me try it. Okay. Because it's coming along now. Okay, so there's that. Now I can darken it a bit. So, like that. Okay, there we go. Just darken it just a bit. And we'll say the arrow points the same way, so the light's coming down that way. So I guess we'll try making it so, because I want to see how to make the shadow. We'll say it's coming towards us this time instead of away from us. So. Let's see. Let's do this one. There we go. So I guess I'll shade this side again. Darken this up a bit. Okay, so the sphere is becoming. You know, this looks a lot better than the first one. I actually felt like I improved this time. Um, this one should be now getting lighter and lighter. Lighter. Okay. Um, maybe I should get a little bit more lighter. Can I get a little bit more lighter? Let's see. Okay, so there's that. And then uh, the shadow comes towards us, so the light. Well, no, the well, light and the shadow comes towards us, so we'll go this way. So you're pointing that down here, so you would actually see it this way, so it would be Shadow of a Sphere is a circle. We gotta make another circle. Yeah, I have no idea how to do shadows. I'm trying. That's why I'm here. To try. Anyways, so the shadow. Let's just wiggle those lines and just make keep making circles within circles. Circles within circles to make this giant circle. All these circles trying to circle. Eventually, they're just spirals. Actually, they're not circles because the circle would close eventually at some point. This is not even a polygon. They're just strings of things. Be spirals, yeah, strings of spirals. So yeah, uh, and shadow looks kind of small compared to this ball. I think I gotta make it a little bigger. Okay. Yeah, that looks weird. That doesn't look right as well. <sighs> okay. But you know what? I'll, I'll keep that. We'll try moving on to the next one that I was going to do, which is a. No. A cylinder. cylinder. Right. So. Doing the, doing the top. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, never mind. So doing this side. Let me just make a circle. Let's make this oval. Okay, there's my oval. Then make the line down. A lighter line. Make another line down. So there are two lines down. Call it this. 
A pretty tall cylinder, okay. This is my tall cylinder. And then make the curved bottom. Because it's a cylinder, it has two circles on on both sides. Then there's a rectangle that is curved around. Anyways, so we'll use the same lighting. We'll say this, this way, so. There we go. A better arrow than that. It's fine. Anyways, I guess I'll start shading. See this? This is a hard pen or pencil. Actually, no, I'll, I'll make an outline first. Where is the outline? So where does everything go? Where does everything go? Nope. No. Okay, they, there. Mostly done. What's this? Quick shape. Uh, we'll see this one. What does this look? Oh wow, <laughs> that looks good. Huh. I did not know there was a pencil that does this. Okay, just shading. Okay. <laughs> My microphone. Oh. Hope this is all right. Okay. Crisis averted. The microphone is not damaged. Yay. So. We're still shading this. Maybe the shading is too dark. I don't know. I don't know which one I like more. You know, I do like this one. This one looks like. I actually drew that one. This one. I don't know. But I mean, this one. Shading looks better because there's. It can do so light. It can do it so lightly. Look at this. Look at that shading. Okay, so how does it? So I guess we'll go this way. Yeah, I mean I like this one actually. You know, this one is good. I can actually do some shading like this. Uh, that's not so. How big would that actually be? Let's see. And light comes down this way. So if I was the, a light beam, it would be probably this. I would reflect off, but then since light does not enter that way, where would the light land? Where the, the the highest amount of light that could land? Or at what point does light stop being not moving to that? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna stop talking about that. We'll probably stop here. Yeah, at the edge of the page. That's as far as I can draw. Make this a bit darker. I have no idea why there's this jet. I don't know, this doesn't look straight at all. <sighs> Do you know what? I'm gonna make another one. I'm gonna make another cylinder and I'm gonna try try to make it as close to this one, but I'm gonna use the tilted pen this time after after the pencil. It's a pencil. So let me draw another circle oval ellipse thing. Yeah. I don't know, it doesn't look like me. Let's see. Okay, straight line down. So that was my lips. Straight line down. So that's a two sides and then uh curved bottom. That's way too much of a curve. Curve bottom. Okay, let me go through this pencil and then make the edges a bit clearer. That's way too thick actually. So okay. Then the top one, which is my ellipse. Yeah, that, that's my ellipse. All right. Um, and now the tilted pencil. I gotta write that time. Yay! So 
tilted pencil and I'm going to do same same way same way so it goes that's a giant arrow giant arrow giant arrow giant arrow doing bad giant arrow anyway so arrow goes this way so that means I'll start this way so it's a building up also they told me uh, dark sh darker um, shading hides the outline so let me hide that outline the darker shading and then as as I continue onwards then it gets a little lighter okay still pretty dark and then I should start getting a little bit lighter come on don't be too dark Okay. No, is this working yet? I don't know why I'm doing it that way, but okay. I guess I need to do the bottom as well. Fix the bottom. And then let me do the. What is it? Sides? No, we mean the casted shadow. Yeah, casted shadow. So then from the top it'll be here, I think. I guess that's my basic edge. Why is this cylinder look thinner than that one? But this one is shorter and more stout. Should probably get it a little bit more because if the shadow comes this way, then there should still be no light here, so yeah, that actually looks more like the shadow that it's casting. So, yeah, there we go. I have a, two cylinders. One that is shaded with the Pencil, fi pencil 5 Tilted, and the other one that's shaded with uh, Pencil 6 Quick Shade. There are so many brushes here. Soft. That is soft. Do not know pencils could look so different. Yeah, not again. Okay, okay. Crisis averted a second time. Right? I hope. I mean, nothing fell that time, so I guess there was no crisis to begin with, but. Microphone is still safe. Okay. Um, so, yeah, there's my two spheres. One of them is cast. Okay, so let's see. The first one right here. Uh, we'll use you, the hard one. Um, well, the the sphere right there uh, has the shadow shaded in, but no cast shadow. So I'm assuming this is just floating in space. That's the that's the ball right there. That's my three dimensional ball sphere thing. Who looks better than the, my initial one? My initial one was just a transparent one. Pretend pretend you have a transparent sphere and you could see through it and you could see the lines. It wouldn't actually be a line unless there was a seam there, but that's not the point. The point is, uh, you have this sphere, then you have this sphere, which which uh, um, see this sphere has shading here and also a cast shadow. I don't know. This this does not look right to me. Then I made this because I wanted to test out the pencil, but I don't know what I wanted to do there. Oh, I also drew this sphere, well, attempted sphere, then I stopped, I don't know why. I think it didn't look as it didn't look right. It looked too much like a uh, squished ball, yeah. Then there's the, I don't know, the cylinder, yeah, that's what it's called, a cylinder. A cylinder that is shade, so I made a cylinder, then I shaded it with the quick shade, and I think it turned out pretty well. I mean, besides the you know weirdness of the shadows, the cast shadow, but it turned out pretty well. It looks pretty good. Um, also for this, uh, the other cylinder, this cylinder I did with a uh, tilted pencil, that I did the same with this, and then you know I I don't know which I would decide between those two. Th these two have two different styles. I, if I was going to with something that required like soft shadows. And I probably want the quick shade. If I wanted something with a little bit more defined shadows, 
then I would probably go with a tilted pencil. Yeah, that's probably how I do it. And I guess the the quick shade is probably a bunch of looks like a bunch of tilted pencils. Or just a bunch of pencils in general, but that's not the point. The point is, so there's the quick shade, there's the tilted pencil, and there you can compare the two. Decide, I don't know, in the, the comments below. They're below, right? Unless YouTube changed something. But uh, decide in the comments, wherever they are, YouTube, um, where, you know, which one's better. Which do you think looks better? And I meant the shading. The shading looks better. I'm not talking about the cylinder. Both cylinders, eh. Well, I don't know. Anyways, I guess that'll do it for me. Uh, see you hopefully next Saturday. I hope I am going to be there next Saturday. I hope there's nothing I have to do next Saturday. I have a dentist appointment on Saturday. And anyways, but I'm hoping I can still talk well. Goodbye.